Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to day 20 of Exhale to Splits. We spent a little bit more time um, yesterday, so today will not be as long. We'll go ahead and start standing on our mats at the top of our mats. Feet are gonna be under your hips. We're gonna do a few squats to warm up and then we'll squat down into our Malasana posture. So you can grab your blocks if you want to have them nearby. Um, you can grab them as well. So bringing your palms to heart center or you can kind of um, bring a fist, but deep breath in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, just warming up the legs here. Lower, lift, lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, squat it all the way down into Malasana. You may need to turn your toes out a little bit. Elbows are in between your knees. Just rock back and forth a little bit here. Your legs might be kind of burning a little bit. That is okay, that's good. It's super important to exhale here, truly. Bring your fists together, deep breath in, and exhale as you rock forward, just slightly open them and close. Lean forward, open, and close. When you're leaning forward, you are exhaling. Inhaling as you lean back and bring your fists together. Exhale, open, inhale back in. Exhale, open. Inhale, back in. Open. Back in. This time, open, hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it back. Let's do that again. Lean forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One, bring it back. We're gonna do it one more time. And open for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Palms together. You're gonna to lead with your hips, rock it forward, and then press up, straighten through your legs. Feet can still stay under your hips. You can just bring your toes forward, or yeah, <laughs> turn them forward and slowly rock back and forth. Drop the crown of your head all the way down. So just gently rocking into the toes very slowly. And then back into the heels, into the toes, heels. Deep inhale and exhale. Awesome. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Now it can lift the chest. Heel toe your feet in almost together to touch, not completely though. You can bring your blocks here if you like as well. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, forward fold. Try to keep the knees as straight as you can. And see if you can, if you can touch your blocks, see if you can reach maybe a little bit closer towards the mat. 
Awesome. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend into your knees. Wrap your arms behind your shins or your calves. <laughs> and then find a breath in. And exhale, slowly straighten into the knees just a little bit. And use your arms to kind of pull your chest a little closer to the tops of your thighs. Knees can stay bent here, no worries. Shift a tiny bit of weight into your toes. Maybe you feel it just a tad bit more. And then slowly release, come all the way back up to standing. Whew, awesome. All right, remember we were in an inversion since we're in a forward fold for so long. So sometimes you kind of want to give the blood a moment to regulate. But forward folds are really, really awesome for kind of like rinsing the brain in a way and giving it like fresh oxy oxygenated blood. So they are really lovely. You just have to give yourself a little time to come back. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna draw that right knee up. A Little bit of a balance. Interlace your fingers on the outside of your knee and just draw it up as much as you can. It's okay to wiggle and wobble, it's totally normal. You're actually strengthening that left ankle as well. Slowly lower it down. Ground down into that right foot. The right big toe is really grounding down. Interlace your fingers on the left knee. Draw it up as much as you can. Going up towards your left armpit in a way. Perfect, lower it down. Hands on your hips. Sorry about that. Hands on your hips. My husband loves to call me <laughs> during filming, loves it. Alrighty, right knee up, just opening, making a circle with your right knee. And out. Take these at your own pace. Two more wherever you are. Perfect, right leg down, left leg's time. Knee up and out. Two more wherever you are. Awesome. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Try to keep those knees as straight as you can. If you can bring your hands to the mat, your fingertips to the mat, see if you can walk them right by your feet. So you're not even pulling in really, you're just changing where your hands are. And then if you feel comfortable with that, see if you can Flip your fingertips so that they're facing towards the back of your mat. And then maybe gently drop the crown of your head and pull in just a tad. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, bend into your knees. You can come all the way down to your mat. Perfect, extend your left leg out in front of you. Right foot comes in to that inner thigh, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold your chest over the top of your left thigh. So really pulling to lead with your chest, not really so much focused on getting your head to your leg, but more so getting your belly and your chest to your leg, getting your forearms to the mat. Don't worry about pointing your toe. If anything, flex your foot. But you don't even have to worry about that this time. We're more so just relaxing, taking like a passive stretch as opposed to an active stretch. Now I like to, if you can reach your foot, I like to bring my hand kind of towards, my right hand towards the, uh, wrapping around my heel, like towards the left side of my heel. It kind of helps pull my chest back straight so rather than going like this, 
I'm kind of bringing my chest back in line with my leg. A few more breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper. For five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release up. You can bend into that knee. And then go ahead and extend that right foot out. Left foot comes in. Deep breath in. And exhale, fold over. Now, if you're not able to reach your foot, you can always bend your knee, bring your hands underneath your leg, pull it down that way. Again, really working to keep your chest in line with your leg. A few more breaths, checking in with your face. Checking in with your teeth, <laughs> your jaw. Five, four, three, two, one, slowly release, bend into that knee. Awesome. You can squeeze both knees in. Lovely, alrighty. And let's go ahead and roll onto our bellies. Or actually, no, let's actually come, sorry about that, let's come to our tabletop, you can bring your blocks with you. I'm just gonna do a little quad stretch. So stepping the right foot forward. If you need something under your knee, go ahead and grab it now. Just put something under your knee if that helps um, with that pressure. Lift your heel up, reach that left hand back towards the outer part of your foot, the top part of your foot. Work to square your, your hips back forward. You don't have to take a lunge here. You can really just keep a 90 degree angle in your leg here. If you need a block, boom. And just breathe into this. As you begin to relax, like truly relax and feel more space open up for you, you can either lean forward into a lunge or you can use your hand to just pull your knee or your um, heel up closer to your bum. Sometimes I find it's a little bit better on my knee, especially if I don't have a cushion, to just sink into my low lunge a little bit more. Ten, nine, eight, check in with your face, your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release. Lean into a half split. All right, go ahead and step that foot back. Switch to your left. Again, keeping that leg at a 90 degree angle. There's no need to go super deep. <laughs> We're just doing quads right now. Go ahead and reach back for that right foot. Adjust your left block. Deep breath in. And exhale. You wanna stop wherever you feel like you can still breathe. If you go to a point where you feel like everything is tight, you cannot breathe in this, then you need to back out of it just a little bit. Sometimes it's only an inch that you need to back up so that you can release your breath <laughs> and relax your, your abdomen. Anything that's tensing up, see if you can just soften it. This is more of a passive stretch right now that we're doing. We're not engaging everything. We're just trying to see if we can really relax our muscles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly release, half split. Good. 
And you can come on down to your mat. Give your knees a good squeeze. Squeeze everything in. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Congratulations for making it today. 20, yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy for you. Really like 10 days away from this challenge. But of course, you can redo these videos as many times as you need to, which is the beauty in it, actually. Um, but yeah, alrighty. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I'm shocked at this point, but if you would like to subscribe, that would be really great. It's free and it helps me greatly. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, compliments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Get to as many as I can. And if you would like to support me further, I'll leave my cash up and Venmo on the next screen. God bless. Have a lovely day. I love you all. And um, yes, see you tomorrow. Bye.